Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesse and I am a fifth year MD-PhD student. And today I wanted to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. And that is step one. I actually took step one about three years ago and I was lucky enough to be the last group of students to take the test scored. I am now a step one tutor through a company called Elite Medical Prep. And looking back on my own study experience, I would probably prioritize different resources and take a different approach if I had to do it all over again, especially now that it's pass fail. In today's medical education landscape, there is an overwhelming number of resources that are available to students. Therefore, it is crucial to distill these resources to the most high priority and high yield options. In today's video, I will be consolidating the most essential resources that you'll need to pass step one and teach you how to use them effectively. So let's begin. There is no better place to start your step one studying journey than with first aid. And I have here with me an ancient copy from back when I was studying for step one. It just brings back so many memories, so many fond, fond memories. First aid is often referred to as the med student Bible as it covers all subjects tested on step one. I recommend all my students that I tutor to go through first aid at least one time. To do this, I tell them to divide the number of pages that they have by the number of days that they have to study up to two weeks before taking step one. However, to use first aid most effectively, you should treat it as a checklist. While first aid contains everything that you need to know for step one, it does not teach you the materials. When you're reading through step one, you wanna be actively taking notes and pulling in other resources to develop the depth of knowledge that is required for step one. I always tell my students that they need to understand each subject well enough that they can confidently teach someone else that subject. Next, let's talk UWorld. UWorld is a question bank that contains over 3,600 questions that covers all subjects relevant for step one. Each question is annotated by subject and provides explanation for each correct and incorrect answer. This makes you world an excellent tool for both content review and self-assessment. During your dedicated study period, I recommend doing 80 to 120 you world questions a day. You want to make sure that you're able to do at least one pass of all the questions in you world. Back in my day when step one was scored, people were actually doing multiple passes of you world. I don't think that's really necessary anymore now that it's pass fail. And again, to do this, you can take the number of questions that are available to you on UWorld and divided by the number of days you have to study. And the best way to use UWorld is to tackle the questions in the morning. This will prime your brain for active learning throughout the day, as well as mirror exam timing. USMLE is administered during the morning, so you're training your brain to start thinking actively and answering these step one style questions early in the morning. And as I mentioned before, there are two ways to use UWorld. For subject specific studying, you can create 40 question untimed blocks that are filtered by the subject that you're either reviewing or studying that day or from the day before. As a self-assessment tool, you'll want to create 40 question time blocks to be completed within 60 minutes. This will mimic a block on the step one exam and will help sharpen your test taking skills. It is then crucial that you spend at least an hour going over all of your incorrect and correct answers. The explanations for UWorld are very well written and do a really good job of teaching test taking skills as well as content. So in order to take full advantage of the UWorld question bank, you wanna spend significant time going over all of your blocks. The next resource that I want to cover is Pathoma by Dr. Sitar. Pathoma is a video lecture series that covers all of the fundamentals of pathology, which forms the basis for understanding almost all diseases of the body. Mastery of the fundamentals of pathology will enable you to answer up to 60% of step one questions. I also want to mention that chapters one through three are particularly important, so spend extra time understanding these key concepts. As with all video-based learning tools, active note-taking is crucial for successfully learning the materials. I would highly recommend having the Pathoma notes printed out so you can actively take notes while you're watching the videos. In order to actively retain knowledge from Pathoma, I encourage all my students to use the Duke Pathoma deck. The Duke Pathoma deck is a very manageable Anki deck, which contains just around 2,000 cards, and they're tagged by a chapter. When you finish watching a chapter of the Pathoma video series, you can unsuspend uh, that chapter from the Duke's Pathoma deck. Last and certainly not least, I wanted to talk about Sketchy. Sketchy, in my opinion, is by far the best resource and tool to study for bugs and drugs, which all have very confusing names, so it is almost impossible to memorize all of them effectively if you don't have some sort of learning tool. 
And again, with Sketchy being a video-based learning tool, you'll have to take active steps to integrate the information effectively into your knowledge base. The best and most efficient way to do this, in my opinion, is to use a pre-made Anki deck, such as the Pepper deck or LOL Not A Cop. Since all of these decks are tagged by video, what you can do is just watch the video and then unsuspend the cards that are relevant for that deck, learn the cards, and then review them throughout your dedicated study period. And yeah, I think those are the bare minimum resources that you'll need to pass step one. I will be leaving a link to a free study schedule made by my tutoring company, Elite Medical Prep, down below in the description. If you're interested, please check it out. I want to wish everyone who's about to enter their dedicated study period or taking step one in the future the best of luck. Thank you all for joining me in this video today, and I will hopefully see you all in the next video. Peace.